Hey guys, Rich Ferguson here, and everyone needs to know how to do a card trick. So this week, I'm gonna be releasing some of my favorite card tricks each day this week. So make sure you're subscribed to my video and you turn on your notifications so you never miss an upload and so you're eligible for the giveaways. We're gonna do a giveaway for each video, and these are great card tricks where you don't need to be a master magician and you will impress your friends. Let's do this. All right, guys, so you know in card tricks, it's always about locating the chosen card. Well, this time, I'm not going to locate the card. I'm going to let the jokers do it for me. So this is a great trick you could do almost anytime, anywhere. Here's what you're going to do, Eric. First of all, let me shuffle up the cards a little bit to show you it's all legit. Perfect. And what you're going to do is reach in and grab any card you want. doesn't even matter. Okay, go ahead and show it to the camera. Don't let me see it. I'll take the card and watch it very carefully. Look. It's going to go into the middle of the pack. You see that? See it? Go in. Yep. Mm -hmm. Watch. Yep. Couldn't be more fair. Fair? Give the cards a cut. Perfect. It is done. My jokers have gone to work. They have gone through the pack and they have located your card. What was your card? Ace of diamonds. Ace of diamonds. Ace of diamonds, ace of diamonds. There it is. That's ace crazy. of diamonds. Found by my two jokers. All right, you want to learn it? Absolutely. All right, cool. Here we go. There's no setup for this almost at all, and there's, there's no moves. It's, there's one little thing you got to do that I explained at the very beginning of this video that there's got one other little move you got to do. It's so simple, and if you're not into magic, this is a great, great thing. Now, if you're a hardcore magician and you happen to be a subscriber, of course, there's a million ways you can pull off the same thing by culling cards out of the deck and all kinds of stuff, but this is a great way to do it without having to know a lot of magic, and that was the entire point of this video. So what you're gonna do is start off simply with the two jokers on top. That's it. When I start off, I shuffle the cards, right? But they're not shuffled because I never disturb the top two cards. I make sure that my fingertips are hanging over the back a little bit, and then I shuffle toward the spectator. I give them one more shuffle, knowing those are the two jokers right there. Just make sure that two cards at least fall last, so you still know there's two jokers here. I mean, it's very, very simple. So that's the start. The rest is pretty much self-working. You're gonna take a card out, go ahead and take one. So you have a card, go ahead and show it to me and the camera just so I can see it. Okay, the four, four clubs. Four clubs. Now, while they're looking and picking up their card, you've squared up the pack, and there's only one little move you're gonna do. You're gonna push the top card over onto your pinky, to give it this little bit of a break right here. So just push it over like you're gonna push it off and deal it. But what you're gonna do is push it over and then square it back up, but with your fingertip in there, okay? So what you're gonna do is take their card and apparently put it in the middle of the deck, but you're not. You're gonna put it right between the top two cards because you have this break. But you're gonna give the illusion that it's going in the middle because you're gonna shove it into the middle of the pack, making one card or so pop out in the middle as you poke it in. And now once you have that card in the front popping out, that gives a visual illusion that that's what's happening. Then pull this out and poke a couple more times, but stick it in the top between the top two cards. And because from their perspective, there's this gap, it still looks like it's going into the center of the pack. From your perspective, Eric, yeah, that looks uh, very absolutely. real. And as you push this in, push the other card back in, square it up, and then everything's done. So all you've essentially done, you guys, is taken their chosen card, and stuck it what looks to be into the pack, but instead it's under the top card. It's all you've done, it looks very convincing. Then from there, since it's the top three cards, you cut the pack and the rest is automatic, right? Because cutting the deck doesn't shuffle a deck. Right. It stays in the same order. You can cut a hundred times. So go ahead and give the card to cut. Perfect. Now right there, I know almost dead center, minus about four cards, mm -hmm. is your selection. So when I spread them out, in this case, it's going to look beautiful. Last time you cut a lot of cards and ended up being almost the bottom. So in this case, I know we're good to go, but you could have several people at a table cut the cards and it's always going to end up perfect. You spread the cards out, you say, what was your card? They tell you, you spread it, dead center is that four of clubs with the jokers surrounding it. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed these card tricks. I'm telling you, just try them. Go through the motions of doing them. They don't take a lot of sleight of hand, so you don't have to spend hours or years in front of a mirror. 
I'm going to be doing a giveaway. I'm going to give away one of my custom pack of playing cards along with a 32 page tutorial on some tricks you can do. So just comment down below and let me know you've liked this video. Let me know you've shared this video and please make sure you're a subscriber and you turn on your notifications so you never miss my uploads midweek. And that's it guys. I want to give big props to my friend Eric for coming and letting me do some mind tricks on him. And uh, that's it. So I'll catch you guys next week. Peace out.